Whenever I tell people the things that I do on a daily basis, the first question I always get asked is how do you manage to juggle everything and how are you so productive? And honestly, my biggest life hack to productivity is being organized, having a good system and a good second brain that allows you to work smarter, not harder. And for that, I tend to use Notion. And Notion is a platform that I'm sure you've heard of. If you've listened to any productivity guru or anyone on YouTube speaking about productivity, you most likely would have heard them speak about using Notion as a place where they sort of brain dump and as I've mentioned on this channel many times, Notion is my go-to place for planning and for sort of goal setting and organization. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at my Notion workspace and looking at how to use the newly released Notion Q&A. Q&A is a brand new feature that provides instant answers to questions using information from your Notion workspaces. So whatever you've included, that's where it gets the information from. It goes beyond just the traditional AI chatbots and it actually allows you to understand your business, uh, any decisions you've made in the past, any meeting notes, and it provides really accurate and relevant answers. And honestly, it really serves as your second brain and functions as your assistant, and it's ready to answer any questions that you may have. So I'm also really excited to say that I'm partnering with Notion for this video, and this is honestly a dream collaboration. I've mentioned Notion so many times in the past few years, and I am absolutely over the moon and overjoyed to be actually working with them for this video. The first thing that you want to do to automate your life and make things a bit faster is just find a tool that can help you find information. It's one thing to write things down and have a have a bank of information. It can be book notes, that could be lecture notes, that could be meeting notes, but it's another thing to actually have to try to find them when you need them. And the great thing is with Notion's Q&A, you are able to immediately locate information using the tool. So I really wanted to take some notes, but I forgot that I did have this Cornell's note system that I had set up for myself. So when I asked the question saying, what is the best note taking system that I have? It actually pulled out the Cornell note system page that I have, which I am actually so grateful for because I completely forgot that I had it. So that's really cool. And that's a really easy, quick way of locating something that I forgot that I had. The next question that I asked Notion Q&A was uh, if I had any book notes at all. And again, I was looking specifically for Atomic Habits because I did think that I had the book notes, but actually when I went to the page, I didn't have it. So again, it was really good for me to be able to quickly locate where those notes were and to remind myself to complete that as soon as possible. The second way that I like to automate my life using Notion is to remind myself of my to-do lists. Now, I run sort of two parallel streams of sort of work. My first is the page doctor, and then the second is the my social media stuff. So, you know, online, my courses, my content on YouTube and other platforms. And I tend to have sort of two to-do lists when I'm writing things down, and it tends to get quite messy, and I always kind of forget and don't necessarily know which list or which point to prioritize first. Using q and I'm able to very quickly identify what my most important task is and check in on projects and make sure that they are being completed. And it just acts as an assistant. Imagine I had someone to ask next to me saying, hey, can you just let me know what I need to do next? It's basically just like an assistant. Many times I'm working on one workspace, but I want to retrieve information from a different workspace. So for example, I have my calendar with all the content that I plan on a weekly basis. And I might be on a different workspace like this one, for example, where I'm kind of planning out my goals and my habits. And I just want to remind myself of what content I have due the following week. So rather than going back and forth and kind of wasting time, using Notion q and I'm able to pull out that information and retrieve it through the fact that it can search through all of my workspaces in one go and then it even gives me a reference for where I can go to click and retrieve that information if I so wish to and I feel like this is just an amazing assistant it's a great way of saving time being more efficient and yeah just working in a lot better way the third way that I automate my life is through meeting notes and through kind of checking to make sure that I've ticked off and actioned anything that I have promised to action. So for example, I had a conversation with my social media um, manager. I then need to remind myself that I need to produce that content or provide it to her by XYZ date. And actually using Notion Q&A, you're able to just quickly identify what those action items are. And even if it's like a few weeks or a few days later, you can just ask your Notion Q&A assistant and you're able to quickly get an answer. 
that is from your database and from your previous notes. Something that I do every single week is I write YouTube scripts. My academic videos that you see on my channel are not spontaneous. They are usually scripted to make sure that I'm kind of hitting all the points and covering everything as accurately and as concise as possible. And I write my scripts on Notion. So this is really helpful for me because it just means that everything is in one space. But the thing that I like to do is after I've written a script, I like to make sure that it actually makes sense and it's actually conveying the message that I want it to convey. So what I can do with Notion Q&A, I can actually ask it to summarize and synthesize information for me. And this is really helpful as it just acts a bit like a skim read and it just means that I'm able to quickly locate and understand information without reading it in depth. This capability is so exciting. So what you can do here is ask a question to Q&A and essentially here, I just want to find out what this whole essay is about. And I can also do it similarly to my YouTube scripts as well, especially if I get that sort of done by a third party just to make sure everything's on the right track. So this works really well if you're working in a team and you just want to make sure that you can clarify. So here I asked what the main takeaways of this essay is. And as you can see here, it's really nicely summarized it for me and I also just wanted to check how many citations there were again it clarified that there were three and as you can see there are only three all the way through the essay so that's really helpful for if you have a very long thesis or research paper and then lastly I wanted to kind of have some talking points that I can use in the video and again you can see it pulled out three talking points that I can very much just use this is actually generating such good information for me Okay, the last way that I like to use Notion to automate my life is through habit tracking. If you've watched any videos from my channel to do the habits and tracking habits, you'll know that I'm really big on ensuring that you're really accountable and you keep on track with the habits that you want to build and the habits that you want to maintain. And for this, I use Notion and I have a whole habit tracker as I've shared with you guys before. And the great thing about this is that you're able to very easily and visually see that you're staying on track and also just to see see when you might be falling off. And with Q&A, you're able to quickly just check on your tracker and you can just quickly search across your trackers and your notes and to get a quick update as to where you're at with everything. At the start of this year, I began the 12 week goal challenge and I actually every single 12 weeks will sit down and update my Notion workspace and just make sure that everything's aligned. And I actually haven't checked it in two or three weeks and I just wanted to refresh my mind and remind myself of what my goals actually are. And so I asked the question as to what the goals are and as you, as you can see here, it's written it here as well. And I even asked what tactics am I using? Because again, it's just one of those things that you just want a bit of a reminder. You just want to make sure you're getting back onto track with everything, especially if you've fallen back a little bit like me. And the last thing I asked was, what are my spiritual goals? Um, I tried to break up my goals into like family, personal, financial, and I just wanted to check to see what I had as my spiritual goal. And again, it has written it down for me based on this page, but also a different page I have as well. So if you want to try Notion q and a, it is actually included with all current Notion AI subscription. So if you're already on there, which a lot of you probably are, then it's already included, so go and check it out. Um, but if you do want to try it, then it's available. You can get started with Notion AI for only $10 a month, which is such a great place to start investing in your productivity, your organization, and just your day-to-day -day habits. I have a link in my description so you can go and check it out. And like I said, I'm so happy that I'm working with Notion and bringing it to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you do, end up using Notion Q&A and Notion AI. Do let me know how you found it. And also, how are you guys using Notion? What things do you use Notion for? Um, are you someone that absolutely loves Notion like me? And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.